Welcome to another episode of Sports and Discourse with your host, Derek Stevenson. And on today's episode, we got to talk about the 2023 March Madness NCAA Tournament, the big dance, um, the one that we wasn't sure if we was even going to be here, but we got in. And after a, a disappointing loss again to Vanderbilt, we are here. We are a six seed. And we have to play against former Kentucky Wildcat Bryce Hopkins. And for the people that follow my show, you know that we've had um, numerous discussions about Bryce Hopkins and how he's performing um, after leaving Kentucky. We've been talking about it uh, frequently throughout the year. We've all um, come to the conclusion that he actually uh, had more to give than he was able to show at Kentucky Maybe it was the opportunity that he didn't get. Maybe um, it was the competition at Kentucky. Maybe it's the competition not being as good at Providence. We don't know, but we get a chance to see what it really was on Friday. And um, I'm excited for it, to be honest with you. I, um, you know, I, I feel like a lot of players have left Kentucky and a few of them have had set success in college. Um, Cal Wilcher ended up being a pretty successful player at Gonzaga. Charles Matthew led uh, Michigan to a Final Four. Johnny Juzang led um, UCLA to a Final Four. But none of them have actually gone on to have what you would call good or even average careers in the NBA. And some of them really didn't even get a chance to play in the NBA. So it's always interesting to see um, how some of these players' careers go after they leave Kentucky. And Bryce is one that I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on. I feel like Bryce uh, has done enough to where he's probably going to get drafted this year if he puts his name in the draft, probably in the first round. Um, but I'm really, uh, really excited to see what he does against Kentucky, to see if he comes out and um, he plays with a chip on his shoulder. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a Kentucky fan. Bryce is no longer with us. Bryce is now our opponent. So I want Kentucky to come out and absolutely, absolutely stomp a hole in Providence. I want Kentucky to come out and show no mercy. I want them to make a statement win in the first round. You know, everybody knows we have not won um, a tournament game in some years now. Um, so this is going to be one of those games that's going to be very intense. A lot of the fans are, um, super frustrated at this point. It feels like Kentucky has been falling behind and this season was supposed to be the season that was supposed to bring us back and put us in the fold. And it didn't go as we thought we had a bunch of, um, you know, a bunch of devastating defeats at the hands of, you know, Missouri, South Carolina, Vandy several times we did have some ups you know we beat Tennessee twice um beat Arkansas we had some good wins but we just had a lot of disappointing moments we had a lot of inconsistency inconsistency with our team so um to even be here is actually surprising to me because at some points during the season it looked like we just weren't going to make it in but now that we're here I actually feel like we're in a good position if the Cats can turn it on. I feel like the the East bracket is a winnable bracket for Kentucky. Um, yes, we got Purdue in there. Um, we got Duke. Uh, we got Tennessee, which you know you know what they say. You it's hard to beat a team three times. Um, Michigan State is in the bracket. Who's beating us? We got Marquette at the number two seed. But even saying all of that. I feel like every single team that's in this bracket with us, I feel like Kentucky is capable of beating every team that's in this bracket. Now, it just uh, you know depends on which team is going to actually show up. Are we going to get the Wildcats? Or are we going to get the Kittens? Um, you just never know. Um, they've just been so inconsistent that on a day-to-day, -day, a game-to-game, -game, um, having a whole lot of injuries that we had to deal with, a lot of lineup shifting, a lot of players trying to figure out their roles. Some players' uh, roles getting reduced. Some people having bad slumps. 
some people coming alive at the end of the season. It's just been a lot of inconsistency with this team this year. But if um, some of the teams that come out and play um, are some of the, if we come out as a team and play like we did against some of these teams like Auburn and, you know, like Arkansas and different things like that, if that team shows up, I think we honestly could beat any team in this bracket. Um, obviously, you know, Purdue's the number one seed. They've been consistent all year. So, of course, they worry me. Of course, Duke worries me. Um, but I feel like a, I feel like it's set up to be a very interesting um, Eastern bracket for us. So, hopefully... Um, I think we're gonna pull it off, man. I think I think we could we can at least get past Providence is what I'm hoping. But I wanna make a statement. I want I want this one to be one of those games like we come out like we did against Auburn, like we did against Arkansas. Like I want it to be one of them ones where we make a point to Providence, to Bryce Hopkins, um, that we still Kentucky, man. And I know that you uh, that you said that you regret it coming here. Um, well, I want Kentucky to come out and make him regret leaving. So there that is. Uh, Bryce, I wish you the best after this game. Um, but Friday, uh, you the enemy, brother. So we're going to get to it. Um, and, and then after that, you know, Kansas State or Montana, I feel like we should have an opportunity to be able to get past whichever one of those teams win as well and probably end up playing Marquette or Michigan State. Um, but I feel like we got a good shot to at least get out of the first weekend, and Kentucky fans need that. Um, we have not had that feeling. We've not had confidence in the tournament. We need something to build on, especially coming into next season. So hopefully, um, hopefully we make some noise in this tournament. If we could get to the Elite Eight, at least, or even the Sweet 16, if we could get to the Sweet 16 after uh, the way the season has went for us, I would be pretty satisfied with that building and, you know, going in the next season. But um, we just got to wait and see how it turns out. But hopefully, you know, the Cats is focused. Hopefully everybody's healing up from the injuries, be ready to play. And uh, we'll see what happens, man. But anyways, you guys let me know how do you feel about the bracket? Uh, do you think it's winnable for us? And also let me know if you're excited to play against Bryce Hopkins and um, tell me what you think is going to happen, man. Are we going to beat Providence? And are we going home in the first round again? Or are we going to make some noise? You let me know and we'll get back at it next time. Sports and Discourse with Derek Stevenson.